today is an opportunity for us at the Urban Big Data Centre to look back over the first five years of work at the centre and how far we've come, to celebrate some of the work that we've uh, managed to produce and, and some of the work we've enabled others to produce, and then to look ahead at the next five years to uh, celebrate our refunding uh, and to think about some of the challenges that lie ahead for us. I first became aware of uh, UBDC uh, during the work we were undertaking for Glasgow City Council. We were tasked with developing uh, regeneration frameworks for Glasgow City Centre and uh, we were looking to take an evidence-based approach. So in doing that, obviously we started to speak with various stakeholders within the city and look to work with uh, colleagues at Urban Big Data Centre to assist our team in starting to uh, gather and analyse data. Well, the work that we've undertaken uh, uh, in Glasgow City Centre really uh, opens up and uh, confirms the challenges that intuitively many of us uh, are already aware of, but that will then give us the, uh, the basis upon which to make uh, clearer uh, decisions that are informed by analysis of the, the, the situation that's found. All of that will be uh, fundamental and all of that can be underpinned by a good evidence base and uh, analysing the data that is available to us. I'm the Customer Success GIS Engineer with Strava Metro. Um, so Strava is the home of your active life. Um, if you go for runs, bike rides, walks, anything that you can track with the Strava app. Um, and Strava Metro then aggregates and, and de-identifies that data and provides it to researchers like the Urban Big Data Center um, to use to make bike and pedestrian infrastructure better for all users. Strava is one of the groups that signed the letter of support um, to be um, a partner over the next phase of um, the UBDC and we're really excited to um, continue especially with this new sort of intensive um, aspect of research um, that uh, we're really excited to be a part of that and um, you know, see where that goes in the future. I'm advising Mass Scotland which is Mobility as a Service Scotland and that's an in industry and public sector network of I think it's about 74 members looking at the d delivery of future mobility in Scotland. I think data is, is absolutely crucial to the future of mobility. So people want personalised services, they want door-to-door -door services, they want one account and that's being delivered uh, by platform companies, data companies that will bring together all the various providers, you know, bus, rail, cycle, whatever, under one account. And that's easy to say, but difficult to do. Trying to answer some of these questions, I mean, how do you get secure good data? How do you share data? How do you then uh, build it into products for people to actually use that will help their lifestyle and will help social equity and, and sustainable environment uh, as well? All of these questions that they'll, they'll be dealing with and helping us with. I direct the Data Science Campus at the Office for National Statistics and our role is to explore new data sources. So things that statisticians, that economists may not have thought about when they're trying to understand the economy, understand society. All of that data should go into the pot and we should be able to use that to make better statistics, better outputs for better decisions. So that's kind of what the campus does. UDBC has been doing some great work and we've heard about five years of progress, blood, sweat and tears or rewarding research. So all of that really fits in alongside what the campus is trying to do. It really makes UDBC one of the great partnerships, I think, see in terms of going forwards, both in terms of how you develop skills around data science to use this data. There's a great opportunity for lots of different organisations to make use of what UDBC is doing. I was really struck by the amazing variety of work going on. People are really making enormous strides with big data. But I was also struck at some of the barriers we were still facing to getting access to data, uh, legal barriers, financial barriers, um, some of the skills gaps that organisations are talking about, and perhaps the, the need to keep building and keep working with the decision makers, the politicians and senior uh, leaders in, in organisations to keep the commitment to the idea of big data or to translate that into faster and quicker access to more data in the end so that we can deliver more value for the public sector.